What's up, YouTube? Era212 here with another video. So today we're going to do another episode of the Back Nine. And today's topic is going to be Best Investment Scotty Young Baby Covers. Uh, a, a topic I think is going to be a lot of fun and you guys will enjoy it. Special thank you to CBSI for allowing me to put these videos out. If you're not checking them out, please check out that, their content. They write some great articles there. Check out all the uh, articles from the YouTubers that are putting content for them out there. Like uh, my boys Principal Defects and uh, East Meets West and all the other great YouTubers. Um, I'll put a link in the description so that you can check out uh, their uh, website and take a look at all the amazing articles and gain some knowledge. That's the whole thing with this is gaining some knowledge. All right, so um, what they're saying here, and this is, I'm going to write down what Phil Lee writes down from Vintage Comics and Toys. Uh, he creates this article for them and a big shout out to uh, Phil and Vintage Comics. But uh, believe it or not, the Scotty Young fan base is growing. Scotty Young is an incredible artist and his baby covers have been a true staple of modern comics. As a vendor, I have seen a steady increase in price for Scotty Young baby covers. Long term, I see many of these as good investments. I am culturally buying into the hype and have asked the panel their favorite Scotty Young baby covers and allowed up to two picks. Um, we could not mention every good Scotty Young baby cover, so please share with us your thoughts in the comment section. And you know what? That's something that I encourage you guys to do here also. Um, let me know what covers you guys enjoy the most and what, uh, what, why you enjoy these books, all right? All right. So now let's start off with these books. All right. First book up is going to be a book that Jack Kornblatt picked, and it's Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number one. Uh, Jack writes, Renew Your Vows is one of my favorite comic book series out there, and this cover represents a lot of the reasons why. So often, Mary Jane, and by extension, her relationship with Peter, is almost completely sexualized. This cover, with its penis-esque rendering of the two characters, totally removes that element and renders their love in a very innocent, it is, it is in an adorable way that cannot be help but melt your heart a little bit uh just a great cover i i really enjoy this cover N nice cover um uh, almost looks like a valentine's day cover to me next book up is going to be uh, uh, i love this cover uh, i'm a fan of all of the x-men stuff and the wolverine stuff and uh jack picks uh old man logan number one and it's uh w one of these things i love about young's covers is the humor that is particularly on display with this cover, which delightfully mocks Marvel and the tendencies around Wolverine. So true. If you read the word bubble, it says, young old man Logan doesn't even make sense, you sh you uh, shark jumper. And that's just pretty funny. And you see like all the uh, costumes that are, have, have been destroyed by Wolverine. So really, really cool. I, I like this cover a lot. It's a good pick. Andy Timberland uh, picked Shirtless Bear Fighter number one. I remember, oh, uh, my man, Keep It Thorough's comics, uh, Talking about this book a while back. If you're not checking out his videos, he does something for uh, the CBSI also. So check his stuff out there. But Shirtless Bear Fighter number one. Here's my Scotty Young pick. Uh, over a hundred dollar book too. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. These hard as hell to find. That's a, that, see. So there are some rare Scotty Young books. So when I say rare, they're a lot tougher than than your normal books. Ah, uh, my man Mighty Mel V picks this book, and I love this cover. Um, I, I, this is one that I'm probably going to be hunting. Um, it's Morbius the Living Vampire number one. And Mel says, uh, the movie is dropping soon and it will not be that easy to come by if you wait. If you look at this, and he's true because everything Morbius is picking up, Mer Morbius' first uh, ongoing story is picking up a lot of heat and just stuff that ties into Morbius and anything, you know, with, with uh, horror and everything else is starting to get an uptick, but especially after that trailer dropped. But uh, instead of rest in peace, if you look at it, the baby's uh, floating and uh, it says nap in peace. Kind of cute. I like that. Mel's second pick is a book I did not know about. I love the artwork on this. Kind of reminds me of like Gremlin-esque. Um, and it's Bitterroot number three. And Mel says, I am future thinking on Bitterroot number three done by Scotty Young. I do not think many people know about this one. He's absolutely right because this is a book that I had no clue about I knew about Bitterroot. I did not know that there was a Scotty Young variant. Usually you look at Scotty Young variants and it'll be issue one. This is uh, in, in the middle of the series, all right? It's issue three when Scotty Young does this. I, I might be searching for this book because I really like that. Next book is uh, Gwenpool number one, and this is uh, Topher's pick. 
And uh, I, I like this cover a lot, you know. Uh, Gwenpool can destroy the universe and also Slurpees. Her cuteness and randomness are captured here brilliantly by Scotty Young. And it's true. Uh, you, you see the demolition she's causing with that blade, and yet she's a little kid at heart slurping on the slurp. So Peter Renna picks Ultimates number one. Uh, one of my favorite picks out of this whole uh, article was this book. Uh, I'll tell you why after I read this. But uh, Ultimates number one. I think I will go cosmic with my Scotty Young picks. I am a fan of Al Ewing's run on the Ultimates, and this is a fun representation of the world eater. Um, Again, this was a great, great series. Um, there's a lot of spec on this series, but we all know that Galactus is called the world eater. So what's he doing? He has a world lollipop and he's eating it. I, I thought it was cool. You know what? It, it's fun. It, it's Scotty Young is very creative. If you've ever been to a con, um, watch how long his lines are. Cause he'll do a few sketches. They're random sketches. I think you get put into a lottery. Uh, last time I saw him do it, but everybody wants their book signed by Scotty Young. Peter's second pick is Thanos Rising number one. You got that cute little baby Thanos sitting on that throne. Another cosmic one I like is this Thanos Rising. While I understand why they changed him for the MCU, I can't, can't help miss his infatuation with death for the comics. Uh, all readers of the comics know he half of his uh, pursuit for everything was to please death. Um, who was a female, his female love interest. But, uh, you know, for, for cinematic universes, they had to change it a little bit up. But uh, Thanos is getting a lot of love now, you know. Um, everybody's talking about what's Thanos right. You know, what do you guys think about that? Well, let's take a look at the next pick. All right, so I, I'm an X-Men guy. Everything X-Men I love. So uh, Terry Hockness takes uh, X-Men number one, the Treehouse Babies, he, he labels it. And you see all the little X-Men up in a treehouse. Uh, and he writes, my favorite Scotty Young baby cover. Not very pricey. I just love the girl power here depicted. This is fun. And that's the whole thing with these books. Um, yes, yeah, some of them are going to be pricier than others. Um, you'll see as we go along when, when you're looking at them. And, and if you're checking on eBay, you'll see. But some of them are such fun covers that you kind of have, have to have them in your collection. This is one of those. All right. So this cover here is a banger. A uh, foreign comic guru picks Extraordinary X-Men Annual number one. I'm a huge magic fan, um, and this cover is just badass. She's got the whole sword, soul sword with her little demons around her. Got to have a magic cover here. With the New Mutants movie not doing well, coupled with the fact that the demand of magic variants are still strong, makes me believe it is a good opportunity to buy her best covers. I agree wholeheartedly, and this is one that I do not have and will be searching for. All right, so Josias Ocampo, he kind of uh, beats us both with it by picking two covers that connect. So he takes Superior Spider-Man number 32 and Amazing Spider-Man number 9, the connecting covers. He says, I'll cheat with my two covers. I'm picking Superior Spider-Man number 32 and Amazing Spider-Man number 9, connecting covers. Two great covers highlighting the epic Spider-Verse saga. Perfect to have in your PC as Spider-Verse 2 is coming next year. Good pick right there. Again another x-men it's just they're, they're beloved but think uh, watch this this is good so phil uh picks this one and this is a good good pick phil i, I like this a lot x-men 92 number one i think a lot of people in my generation grew up watching the x-men animated series and also love scotty young covers i am super excited for the new x-men 97 series on disney plus and i think this is a solid investment uh, you know what I, I couldn't agree more and especially the way um X-Men 92 is going to carry, um, you know, the new animated series. 97 is going to pick off right where the X-Men animated series finished. I cannot wait. Um, you know, I raised my kids on this series, and uh, it, it's a household staple. Let's take a look at what Phil picked for his second pick. Badass cover, right? I've seen that somewhere before. Uh, Thunderbolts number one. So Phil says, there are a lot of Thunderbolt variants that are very popular in this series. One variant that is growing and getting rarer is this Sky Young cover. You can get this variant for about $20, but asking prices are easily close to $100 when the market is dry. And that does happen. You might find it, but then once people start, or you go on a trend where a book like this gets hot for some reason, all of these covers dry up. Those are the picks from the guys at CBSI. Now, let me show you my two picks. So my first pick 
is this one right here. All new X-Men number one, X-Men fan extraordinaire. Not an expensive book, but I do love this cover so much. My next pick is Rocket Raccoon number one. This is a pricey book. If you take a look at this on eBay, uh, you'll see that it, it, it graded, it goes for a couple hundred dollars. Um, you don't really see too off, you, it too often in the wild. It's a great rendition of Rocket Raccoon with the two blasters out and everything. Uh, I really like this one a lot. Also, if you get the opportunity, go on CBSI's website and read the Back Nine article because at the end, there will be an honorable mention there that you must see. But if you like variants like this, I, I like this article. Let me know what you guys thought, what picks you guys would pick. Also, um, if you take a look at this video over here, you'll see a rare variant that I almost passed up at a con, but was able to get and you see why it's a rare variant. But that's it for now. Until my next video, peace.